Hello doctors, the information brochure for AFMS 2025 is out and we are going to discuss all the rules in great detail. The list of all the institutions where you can get admission through AFMS 2025 are first of all AFMC Pune, Army Hospital Research and Referral, Delhi Cant, Command Hospital, WC, Chandi Mandir, Base Hospital, Delhi Cant, Command Hospital, EC Kolkata, Command Hospital, Central Command, Lucknow, Command Hospital, Air Force, Bangalore, Institute of Aerospace Medicine, Bangalore, and INHS Aswini, Mumbai. You might want to take screenshot of all the courses which are available at these places. Let's first talk about the category of candidates. Under category 1 are the AFMS officers who are detailed on advanced specialist or PG courses. Priority 2 includes the AFMS officers on study leave as well as foreign students sponsored by the government. The counseling for both these categories is done by the office of DG AFMS. Priority 3 includes the medical officers sponsored by paramilitary organizations. Priority 4 includes ex-SSC AFMS officers within 3 years of their release from service. Priority 5 includes civilian candidates. The counseling for priority 3, 4 and 5 categories is done by MCC. Let's have a look at some crucial rules of counseling. Number 1. Civilian doctors who get admission in any PG course in AFMS must serve as short service commissioned officers for 5 years in AFMS. All candidates except priority 2 candidates must be citizens of India. MBBS students should have completed their internship by 31st July 25 and BDS students by 30th June 25. Priority 3 students would be considered eligible only for those subjects which are mentioned in their sponsorship certificate. The maximum permissible age for priority 5 candidates is 30 years as on 31st December 2025. The seat leaving bond has been revised upwards this time. It is rupees 59 lakh for MD, MS, DNB courses and for BDS it is now rupees 54 lakh. The candidate who does not complete the course before turning 35 for whatever reason would not be eligible for commission in the armed forces and such a candidate shall be declared NSL that is non-service liability. Call us for any doubt related to these. Our counseling would be free for priority 1 and priority 2 candidates as a mark of respect for our armed forces. Thank you. Jai Hind.